Hi guys, welcome and Happy New Year. I hope you all have had a pretty easy start to the new year. I know that we're two weeks two weeks in and I'm kind of late um, for the video that I was planning to put out today. Um, this was going to be a video, originally going to be a video that I wanted to post um, the end of the year, um, but that didn't work out because I've been really sick for over a month now. Um, so also please excuse my voice. I know I'm a little bit raspy, but um, I don't think that if I if I wait any longer, I think it's just gonna take me way too long to come back to normal. So um, today I wanna share with you guys my current handbag and SLG collection. Um, please keep in mind that my collection is not large at all. It's very, very small. Um, most of the bags that I purchased were this past um, year, 2023, give or take um, one or two items. Um, but I will say that everything that I've purchased so far, um, I'm truly loving and they have added so much to um, my wardrobe and how I can use certain things and um, yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and start with the handbags and then we'll go into the SLGs. The handbag that I want to share with you is my most recent purchase and this is my Graceful in the MM size. I really truly love this bag. When I first um, thought about purchasing a bag this size, I was looking into the Graceful and the um, Neverfull. Um, I eventually obviously decided to go with the Graceful just because of the top. So with the Neverfull it kind of stays open. I mean, you can use a little um, cinching things on the side, but for the most part, it's an op very open bag. Um, and I wanted my first tote to feel um, a little more secure, just so I can get a feel for everything and see what I like and what I don't like. I'm very happy with this purchase. I love the color. Um, I think that next to the monogram, the Damier Ibin is Damier Izer. Um, is my favorite pattern I think it's very beautiful um, and I'm really excited to use this um, a lot more um, in the spring and summer so this is my tote hobo bag hobo style bag and it's the graceful in the GM size so the next bag that I want to share with you is my um, no way. Anyways, this one is the um, No Way bucket style bag in the monogram with the pink um, pink shoulder strap and ties. I really love this bag. If you want a bag that is going to carry everything that you need, um, maybe to go into the office. I mean, it's not going to carry a laptop, a small iPad. It will. Um, your agenda. It will carry. Um, but for me personally, um, even when I was going into the office, I didn't need to take a laptop because I had everything stationary there in my office. So this is all that I needed. And I just think it's a very beautiful bag. I think that um, the pink that they chose to add to this bag is a 100% win. And I'm not um, a pink girl. I don't care for the color pink too much, but I don't know, there's something about this color. It's um, more of a dusty pink, so I think that's why I like it so much. And this is my second bag. This bag is um, my Speedy 25 um, leather, and it's in the color burgundy. And I really, really love this. I really wish that Louis Vuitton would continue to, I mean, I know that they can't do it to, I don't think they can do it to their canvas Speedy because um, the material is on the thinner side, but I wish for the leather speedies that um, Louis Vuitton would just keep this pocket here a standard thing on all of the speedies, on all the leather speedy, speedies. Um, it's a really good little pocket to have. I always keep my phone right here in this little, and I, I slide it down that way. So I always keep my phone there. Everything else I need is inside of, of here. Um, it does come with a, <clears throat> excuse me again. 
So it does come with a leather crossbody or shoulder strap. I rarely use that um, unless I absolutely know that I'm going to need to be hands-free and I have used it. I will use a crossbody but I, in my opinion it's a larger piece so I think for my body frame it just looks better when I hold it this way but like I said I have used it um, I've attached the strap and I've used it just as a shoulder bag and I really like the way it looks that way. So this is my Speedy 25. My, let's see, let's do this one. My next bag is from Brandon Blackwood and this bag I purchased, I don't even know how long ago. It's been a few years now. Um, I was browsing YouTube and I saw a girl using this bag and she, I Think she was like walking along the beach in Miami or the little shops down there and it just looked so cute so I decided to pick this up we were going on a cruise that year and I decided to pick this up and it's absolutely beautiful it is the cutest little summer bag um, it has this little shells all along the sides and the bottom and it's just a basic little tiny shoulder bag but it's perfect if you're going to go on a cruise or a little beach vacation and you want to go out to dinner because it, it gives the beach vibes, but it also carries everything that you'll need. It just adds so much to your little vacation outfits. So this is my Brandon Blackwood bag. I'm not sure what the name of this bag is, though. Um, I don't know what the name of this bag is. <laughs> so this is my Brandon Blackwood bag. This is the... Ophidia. This is my Gucci Ophidia. And my husband purchased this for me um, last year, Valentine's Day. This one is a limited edition version just because it has this little um, strawberry charm here. But the um, they still have this on the website. It just has a little GG charm, um, not the strawberry. But it's still everything else is still exactly the same. Um, when I first saw this bag, I wasn't, my husband fell in love with it right away and I wasn't too sure because of the strap. I, first of all, I, I really don't like crossbodies, but also I didn't know if I could make this, these colors work in my wardrobe. Um, but I'm really actually, I'm actually really happy that he bought this for me because in the summer, well, all year long, my wardrobe is pretty basic, um, I use neutral colors a lot. I don't use patterns too much. It's pretty um, plain, I guess. Um, but when I add this bag, it's so cute. It it adds just, I guess, like style to my outfit. When I can, I don't even know what how to explain it, but it just adds something to my outfit. It looks super cute. And this bag, I will wear crossbody because the bag is so flat that it doesn't feel like it's in the way. It, I think it actually looks nice as a crossbody. Um, but I also have worn it with just the chain this way. Um, even with the chain, I still wouldn't use this as a dressy bag just because to me it gives off more casual vibes but um i really do like that this chain is an option because this is my favorite way to use bags but yeah this is my gucci um i keep forgetting the name ophidia my next bag is another gucci bag and this bag, I love it, but every time I go to use it, um, it kind of takes me back to my video that I did on this bag. And if you know, if you watch that video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, this is my Gucci Aphrodite in the color white. Um, that video, I have not watched it. Um, after posting it, I did not watch it because I could not believe how confused I was by the chain strap of this bag. I was very confused over that chain strap. And now every time I go to grab this bag, I can't get that out of my head. And I've even thought of 
removing that video and doing it over again <laughs> just because I was so embarrassed by the fact that I had no idea how to use chain but I'm not gonna do that but anyways it does make me laugh every time I reach for this bag because I think oh my god Desiree you're such an idiot but anyways this is my Gucci Aphrodite bag in this um, color white and I love this as a shoulder bag. I usually use it like this with this um, leather strap. I rarely use the chain that it came with, probably for that reason. Um, but this is the chain. And this is the part that I was very confused with. So I unboxed the bag and I was trying to push this bottom part together to get it open. Obviously, that's not going to happen, right? So instead of trying to push here like a normal person would, I proceeded to tell you to, oh, you just pull these two pieces apart. Why? I don't know. I don't know, and I don't know if that's why I still don't really use it. I think I used it once, um, but... Yeah, I literally told you guys, oh, you just got to pull these two pieces apart instead of be smarter than the chain and just push these two little things together. So that's an option. I don't really use it. I prefer it this way. But I also use this bag like the um, Aphrodite as a um, crossbody because this bag is so... Um, slim and it's so soft it fits to the body nicely and it doesn't feel like I have a crossbody on so I love this bag um I think this is probably one of my mm, yeah I think this is my most used bag because it is a light neutral color and it is so small I really don't need to carry too much with me and I just love it I'm actually thinking of um, purchasing this bag in black but I'm also trying to look into the other options so I don't have too much of the same but that generally that's me if I like a top I'll buy it in three different colors if I like shoes I'll get them in three different colors so that is like me to want to purchase this in uh, the black but I'm really trying to see other options before I do that but if you see a black don't be surprised we're down to my last bag see my bag collection is very very small okay so this bag is my absolute favorite bag um, I I can't even explain it let me just show you this is my Nano Noe in the Broidery Anglaise and the color is Saffron. I love this bag. This is my favorite bag. I look at this bag all the time. I walk into my room and just will grab it and hold it for a second and then put it back because I'm crazy. But I really, really love this bag. I I really love the embroidery on the, the piece. I think it's really beautiful. I think it's very feminine. Um, I use this bag a lot um, well I wouldn't say I use this bag a lot I don't use it a lot I use it for special occasions um, or if I know that what I'm wearing could really use this so for example we went to a wine festival and this is the bag I took and I love it I when I went to the wine festival like I said I don't like crossbodies this I love as a crossbody because it feels like I'm wearing a piece of jewelry because it's so pretty. I love it. So I did wear this crossbody um, and this again, it doesn't bother me to wear it. I really actually like to have it here just to show it off a little bit. Um, but she's really, really beautiful. Um, when I had the iPhone mini, it fit in perfectly and it wouldn't show over the top and I was able to tie the little... Um, pieces closed now that I have the larger iPhone <clears throat> excuse me now that I have the larger iPhone um, it peeks out a little at the top but that doesn't bother me I still love this little bag I'll never get rid of it um, this bag this is this is the only bag in my collection that I think I could use once and 
out of the year and still be happy that I was able to use it that one single time. So this is my Nano No Way in the Broidery Anglaise. So those are all my bags. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven bags. And um, that might not be a lot to a lot of people, but I am very proud of my bags. I am very proud that um, you know, I mentioned this before, but I don't live anywhere near um, a boutique. Um, so I don't have the luxury of going in and looking at the pieces and trying them on and seeing how I would like them. So I think that for me, having this many bags and not feeling like I've made a, a mistake with any single one is really, really good. I'm very proud of that because um, I do watch a lot of videos where people purchase a bag and then they regret it and it was, uh, I guess, like their regrets for the year, those kinds of videos. And I always was scared of that. Um, I, didn't, I don't want to make bad purchases. I want to make good purchases. And so, so far, I'm really happy that I'm on the right track. So hopefully that goes and follows through for 2024. But let's get into my SLGs. This is my Dior um, key pouch. Um, this was my first key pouch um, before I got my Louis Vuitton key pouch. I purchased this one because I really like the oblique pattern, but I wanted something small to test it out before I purchased like um, one of the handbags that I'm interested in. I wanted to see if this would get dirty quickly, if I would have any problems. I didn't know if this was like a um, tight stitching or if it was going to get pulled. And um, I'm sorry, please excuse my voice. I'm almost done. Um, so I that's why I purchased this, but also because I did want a little key pouch. Um, love this little thing. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it getting dirty. And this piece, it'll just be thrown in the car or thrown in one of my bags or anything. And I have not had any. Um, it doesn't it looks brand new. Um, one time I did get a little spot right here. You can't even see where it was. I remember where it was because I was really worried about it. It was right there. Um, and it was a little spot of like, I think like pink Kool-Aid or a red soda. And I thought, great, it's red. It's never going to come out. But I used my little Tide stick and I barely dabbed some on and then used my nail to just like get it like scrub it just a little bit into the fibers and you can't even see that there was ever anything there so um with all that being said I, yes now i am looking into making a bigger purchase in this pattern because i feel comfortable now that um that i'll be okay with it and i won't um ruin a bag i have this one because it matches my um graceful um I love this piece. I actually choose this one over the Dior just because of this um, lock. So on the Dior, it's just the regular clasp where you push it like this. And the Louis Vuitton, it's a little mechanism where you have to lift it and then take it out. And then the same thing, lift and put it back in, right? So, um, in here, I carry just my key fob, my post office keys, and my driver's license. My driver's license is never in my wallet. It's always in here. Um, because if I do need to make a quick run somewhere, like um, my son is... How old is my son? He's 14. Yes, he'll be 15 in March. But he is 14 right now. So he goes with his friends and they'll go to the movies or something. And usually they'll go to the movies um, later at night. And I'm old, so <laughs> I'm usually in my pajamas and ready for bed when it's time to go pick him up. So it's 
I like that I can just grab this. I don't need to carry my bag. I can just grab this. It has my driver's license. It has my key. And I can just go and run a little errand like that. Also, because of this lock, I was able to clip it onto my graceful. I took this to travel. I was able to unhinge it and clip it here. And when you're in the airport, you need your ID all the time, right? So I was able to have it here. I knew that it wouldn't accidentally fall off anywhere because you have to actually physically try to take it off. It's not just going to push accidentally onto something and fall, right? So I was able to have it here. And whenever they needed my ID, it was on the outside of the bag. I didn't have to rummage through my things. And it made the process so much smoother. I wasn't in anybody's way looking through my wallet. So I really, really like this. I'm looking to get the um, same key pouch in the monogram just so I can have it match my no way and take it that way. So that is my Louis Vuitton key pouch. And this is the only card holder I have. I have one card holder, one wallet. My card holder is from Christian Dior. And it's this um, ivory colored wallet with this floral pattern throughout. It actually looks like it's embroidered as well, but it's not. But it's really, really beautiful. I love this card case. Um, I actually bought this at the same time that I bought my um, key pouch. And um, yeah, I use this. I use this um, when I go out. I use this in here. So this is where this little card holder lives. It has two pockets in the front for cards, as well as two pockets in the back, and then a middle compartment here. So this is very, very handy. I really like it. And I'm, I really like pieces that are a little more feminine. Um, I love floral pattern. This one, as soon as I saw it, I knew that I had to have it. I think it's just super cute with all the colors. And I like that it looks like it's embroidered, but it's it's not. It's just the way they patterned the leather. Wallet. This is my wallet. This is the Ro Rosalie coin purse. And this is in the green. Um, I usually don't go for color, but this green is a beautiful soft green. It's not um, neon at all. It's very, very pretty. It's very soft. Um, the leather is amazing. Um, this is my wallet. I obviously have it stacked, filled with all my stuff. Um, it has the compartment for a card in the back. It also has one here in the front. And then the large um, section here for um, more cards. And then sometimes I'll use this back pocket for cash. Um, and then it has the little zipper here. Um, and you can put coins or things like that in there. I really don't use coins too much, but if I do, it's nice to have that, um, that little zippered space instead of having coins just loosely floating around your purse. So that is my Rosaline coin purse in the green color. I'm going to do them separately. So I have the mini pochette and this is the Dami, Damier Azure and the Damier Ebene. And this is the one I'm using today this this one it has all my little things in it um it's pretty filled to the top um but when i purchased these i knew that i just wanted them for um little catch-alls in my bag and i was satisfied with that right um but once i got them i did not know how much i was going to actually use these things so these aren't just catch-alls for me i use these as crossbody bags this is the perfect size for me um i went to a baseball game and at baseball games um they're very strict on um the size of bag you take in or it has to be clear i don't have any clear bags so I took this, I attached a long um, gold strap from, where did I get it from? Organized my bag, I think. And I wore this as a little crossbody. It carried my hand sanitizer, it carried my lip gloss, it carried my ID, my credit card, um, everything that I just needed um, for a baseball game. And it was so nice because, again, when I'm in that kind of situation, I really don't want to 
feel like I'm carrying something or lugging something around. So, I mean, why would you want to if you don't need to, right? So, these have been so, so helpful. I've even used this to go to the movies because when you go to the movies, you don't need all that extra stuff. So, I really, really love these pieces. I do want to add the monogram um, to my collection now. So, hopefully that comes in this year. This is my agenda in the GM size. I love this. I use it every night to run down what I need to get done for the next day. I make checklists. I do little reminders. Um, I choose to write things down. Um, I'm Even appointments. I write my appointments down. Nothing is in my phone. Um, that's just the way I like to do it. So um, yeah, this is my GM. I use this every night and I use this first thing every morning and throughout the day. So this is definitely my most used piece. I have seven SLGs. So yeah, again, my SLG collection is small. It's on the smaller side, but that doesn't bother me because again, with my just like my handbags, I don't feel that I've made a bad purchase this past year and that makes me feel good. It makes me feel that I'm making um, good choices and I'm not rushing to purchase something. Uh, I'm really, really happy. I'm satisfied with everything that I've purchased and I continue. I plan to continue um, on this same path for 2024. So um, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I look forward to speaking with you guys in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye.